Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. A uh, really quick video, just wanted to share uh, some thoughts that I've had in uh, my progression of creativity and things like that. Have you ever just really wanted to maybe uh, change it up a little bit in what you create and what inspires you? Uh, I'm really starting to get away from like the 112 scale and the larger uh, dioramas. I really just want to start creating uh, just different, you know, picture frame, shadow box, uh, just kind of mix it up a little. I don't just have one passion for action figure display. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely love creating uh, 112 scale uh, action figure displays for maybe say a detoff or a shelf or something like that but a lot of them are larger and i don't do well with larger pieces it takes me like i say it all the time it takes me forever to complete a larger piece so sometimes i mix it up and i go for something a little smaller that i don't have a problem completing and it's something i enjoy because uh especially if you look at this shadow box here you it's a five by seven space and yes uh it is small area but i i find it easier for myself to tell a story and to create an atmosphere in this particular style uh small displays uh there's a there's a really nice canvas here to add lighting to add textures and details and make just an environment uh really really pop and give give it an atmosphere and maybe tell a story so um that's that's kind of what my passion is is i really enjoy creating you know a story through my pieces especially small pieces like this and uh yeah that's what i enjoy a lot and i'm just going to show you a few things so uh, this is a Loot Studios resin print. So the reason why I get a resin printer is I don't I don't create a lot of uh, things for my dioramas with my resin printer, but I do with my FDM. FDM is a little bit easier in regards to uh, making things for for your dioramas. Resin printer uh, is why I got this. So this is a Loot Studios print. It comes in, uh, if you do their subscription of $15 a month, you, you get different themed miniatures. And this was one of them that came in one of the particular themes. And the detail and the fun that I'll have painting this, uh, I really look forward to. And that's why I got this. Uh, resin printers to create minis like this and then to create displays for for them shadow box a little picture frame display whatever um, I want and that's why I got the resin printer and it allows me to paint the figure another thing that I completely enjoy doing and so it opens up a whole different world to creativity and that gives you an idea of you know, what I, I may be looking for, you know, I'll add torches, I'll add a table, I'll, there's so much you can do. You know, the possibilities in such a small display can be endless. And I really look forward to weathering things like this. So uh, the brickwork, the stonework, I'm going to be doing uh, gray. Right now I'm just using some burnt sienna and painting up all the pink foam, which is wood, you can see the texture there. Like I went pretty light on the texture and got the wooden floor. And once I dry brush and add washes and things like that, you'll get a, a better appreciation for um, for the display. The details will come out. But I just want to show you that. I, this is be the first thing, and I'll give you guys uh, a updated progress when it's complete. And I know I've showed this before, and this just is another example of what I enjoy creating. It's just a picture frame Star Wars diorama. It can either be hung on the wall, or it can be displayed as is. Let me see if I can, sorry. 
bring this back a little. I did add a little light that I think if you just touch it back here, it turns on. And just a matter of maybe putting a piece of tape there or something. And the Mandalorian, this is a 118 scale. And, um, and this just gives you an idea of... It, yes, it's a very small display, but it also gives you an idea of what can be done with the weathering. Uh, maybe a little uh, heavy-handed on the weathering. But for me, that I think this is pretty reserved because a lot of times I do go a little heavy-handed. And I've learned to cut back over time. But, uh, but yeah, that's just... Uh, I, I really probably going to repaint that frame and just make it uh, darker black. But that one was a lot of fun to make, and and I don't sell pieces like this because I enjoy it. I'll hang it on my wall. I'll uh, I think it looks cool. And the Mandalorian is fixed there. He's not permanently fixed to where you can't enjoy the figure anywhere else. I just put some holes in the in the base, and I use Q-tip. You know the the. The staff of the Q-tip, and that's what he's being supported with. I can take it out. Sorry, folks. I can take it out and show you. That's all. And these come out. They're not glued. But, oh my God, this poor camera. Anybody motion sick yet? Sorry. There we go. That's still bouncing around. But yeah, I, I know you guys have seen this, but just a little example of of a display that I enjoy creating. This one I created a while ago and I still really haven't found the right uh, the right situation that I, I want to use uh, for it. So yeah, it's it came out okay. It, it was some time ago. I probably do the texture on the wall differently. It, it doesn't necessarily portray a hospital wall, but more of a more of a, like a concrete display but i guess maybe that's what i was going for but you live and learn a lot of fun to create and lately this is my most recent i can't show you my warhammer if you go back a few videos i showed you my warhammer display and that's going to be a two foot by two foot it's a commission the gentleman's waiting and uh i just haven't really gotten back around to it been working on little different things of my own and this is just a 112 scale going to be a sewer display first time ever and i'll tone this down a little bit and make it probably look more like moving water a little bit have fun doing that but i just wanted to play around a little bit of different textures and things like that so i did some concrete work i didn't go your normal type of gray but i did try to capture a little bit more of a realistic concrete i don't quite sure if it came out okay uh, you can let me know what you think in regards to the color but i know concrete isn't just kind of sort of gray it's, it's a little brownish and so on and so forth so that's what i went ahead and did and i added some uh some still water vallejo in there let it dry. I added a little bit of uh, UV resin with some some pretty cool uh, inks that gives it the yellow, yellowish color, yellowish green, I guess. Definitely more green than yellow, but maybe a yellowish green. So this one has been fun to create, but like I say, it, it takes me a long time. Let me show you the back piece of this if I can without shaking the camera. Let me grab it and see if I can. So this one's a ugly stage. I still got a lot more to do with this, but it gives you an idea. Yeah, I'll show you the top part in, in a moment. But let me bring this back. So it's just kind of sort of like that to give you an idea. Let me take this phone out. Sorry, folks. All right, here we go. Yeah, and I got some... Uh, let me see. Sorry. Um, 
my wife always tells me stop saying sorry so sorry for saying sorry but I picked up some piping for here uh, I created this stone wall and and just try to make it realistic. This is all individual pieces of brick. I didn't do any carving. And it's the same way down here. I still got to add some textures. I'm not really happy with this particular brick wall. But it'll do. And like I said, I did the same texturing and same color process on this particular uh, concrete. I used a little bit of oil paint to stain it. And yeah, so like I say, I, I really don't complete much because I'm always bouncing around from one piece to another. But this will, this display will fit perfectly in a detoff. And yeah, so that's about it, folks. I have really nothing else to new to show, but I do want to start completing things and I do want to start sharing with you folks uh the completed work and i still have a uh, wooden crate tutorial to do not so much a tutorial but just my process what i use because there's a zillion tutorials out there i'm pretty happy with how the concrete came out actually it just gives it a little bit of a different look and obviously this uh, mortar and everything is way too dark it's going to be toned down a bit but i just wanted to fill it in a little it needs a really good wash and this one will be done it's probably 75 percent done but i did want to uh, start working on that shadow box display so i get a little bit sidetracked and a little bit is probably uh hello <laughs> This cat follows me everywhere. We had to put our older cat to sleep maybe a month ago. And this one's the baby of the family. So she uh, she's a lot more relaxed and comfortable now that the other one is uh, has passed on. Because the other one was a bully with her. It was a male and he was just a cranky little fella. But this one's a sweetheart. So follows me everywhere. Always wants to sleep on my chair when I'm down here. But... Uh, yeah, but I'll give you a little, little show of my wall, some artwork, some comics. Uh, maybe for you folks that little Judas Priest LP uh, that maybe might show you how old I might be. And my favorite band from the 80s, high school. Still listen to them today. And so on and so forth. Yeah, I got a bunch of bunch of pictures, some figures that I haven't opened yet. And I actually started a area for displaying my figures. So right now, they're all in there. And that thing goes back quite a bit. And it just gives you a little bit of an idea. So... In the midst of creating, I'm in the process of putting up my figures for display. My wall's getting pretty full. And this is just some 3D printed Loot Studios painted. It's a Nostafaris that I printed and painted. And a werewolf. And that's uh, just kind of a uh, mercenary, I guess. My Punisher down here. Yeah, so I got, I got a little bit going on, and I'll give you a little zoom around. So like I said, I got all that. And like I say, I'm all in the process of cleaning, getting rid of stuff, and organizing. And right there's my 3D printers. I have my Saturn and my uh, Mars 2 Pro. If anybody's ever looking for a resin printer, Elugu Saturn, Elugu Mars. I've maybe had... Two failures, and one was from an unlevel build plate, and the other one was I sized it. Uh, I upscaled it without really making any changes to the support. So other than that, I probably have a hundred perfect prints that I'm very happy with. This is a Creality Ender 3 Pro over there. Works great. My newest purchase of my Mythic Legions. That I have a couple boxed and I'm looking forward to opening. 
but yeah, so I just been in the process of reorganizing re uh, up here's my my tools that I use the most up there's my paints and this has all been accumulated over six years of creating dioramas and this is my only space between creating and displaying so I don't have tons of room so hey 15 minutes a lot longer than I expected I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe. And I promise more content. I promise more uh, interaction with you folks. And uh, we'll maybe get this channel uh, popping again and and uh, make it interesting to watch. All right, guys. You guys enjoy your night. I appreciate your uh, hanging in there if you made it this far. Enjoy your night. Thanks for watching.